Okay, so many people had trouble with Cargill student practice that we're going to go through it. You can go through it with me, uh, look at it, and go through it on your own. Okay, several. World War II is going to be an adjective describing veterans. And there is an adjective describing experiences. In the next sentence we have, or in the next line we have the describing war, a two hour describing program. Okay, in the next line we have the chili lecture is all describing hall, a is describing group, excuse me, the is describing stage, in the next line the is describing branches, The is an armed are describing forces. All right, her is describing way. In the next line, we have the crowded. is describing room, a single empty is describing seat, the is describing front. In the next sentence we have, our next line I have an elderly stooped is describing gentleman. The is describing podium. An Air Force is describing pilot. Let me space it down a little bit. All right, in the next line we have A. Hidden and land are all describing mine. This sto stoic is describing stranger. His left is describing hand. His left is describing leg. The is describing service. His is describing country. All right, the in the same line. Is a scrub. Come on now. Can't get that to do. To do. There we go. The is describing people. The on the same line. On the same line is describing stage. The next line there in incredible are describing stories. Fierce is describing bravery. Intense is describing hardship. And faltering 
is describing courage. Same line, the is describing time. The mesmerizing is describing the program. Present day is describing Americans. An enormous is describing debt. The greatest is describing generation. All right, let's look at this. As the tornado screamed through the neighborhood, my terrified family ran for the storm shelter. Thankfully, we made it, it in time, slamming the shelter door as the winds increased. Now, that needs to be changed because terrify is being used as an adjective to describe family. So it's not terrify, it's not terrifying, it's my terrified. So this one is going to be D. All right, in the next one. We had seen accounts on the nightly news of the tornado damage, which can be severely, wondering what will happen to us. We closed our eyes and tried to be calm. Now, severely is an adverb. Um, here, it needs to be who can be severe, because it's describing the tornado damage, which can be severe. There we go. All right, let's look at the next one. The librarian handed me a largely book about muscular dystrophy, the topic I was researching for my class. Okay, now that has to be changed because largely needs to change to large. So we're going to have C. It's going to be your correct answer. Danielle chose the pretty attractive red dress to wear to the prom. All right, that is got pretty and attractive are similar, so you can get rid of one of those. So it would be better to go simplify and to go the pretty red dress. And the last one. Many people long to become American citizens in order to enjoy the freedom and economic opportunity available in this country. Now, American is describing citizens, so and citizens is plural, so you don't want to use an American citizen because it's talking about more than one. So an American citizen doesn't work because an is singular and citizen is not. So you're going to have no change. All right. Please go through this. Uh, if you had trouble doing it, correct it. Um, and then please turn it in. I'm going to link this to um, this assignment so you can also see this. All right. Have a great day.